They're very miserable. And I'm not saying that there's not a threat out there and there's no virus and it doesn't kill or make people sick. Yeah, it looks like it's getting worse. They're spreading and really affecting a lot of people. I'm not saying that that doesn't exist. We're not being in denial. It does. It does exist, of, of course. But that is a physical, biological virus. But now it's transmuting itself and becoming a mental virus. And that's thousand times worse than what is a physical virus. Because that would be in your psyche and that will eat you from inside out. If you don't have the support, if you don't have the mental training, if you don't know how to meditate, if you don't know how to come to the community that supports you to keep you still and bring your attention to here and now. It's very deadly and it's very cancerous. It just spreads very fast. So what you want to do as you're doing right now and you're doing a good job but you want to keep on the path is to disregard the noise the utter noise outside noise and stay truthful and faithful to your inner voice and do the right thing you know what the right thing is. You've been doing it. But this is the moment. This, what is going on right now in the world, is our moment. This was what we have been talking about it. And those of us who have come to the spiritual path, whatever years you're around, you know, because that's basically what matters. You know, it doesn't matter 100 years ago or 200 years ago. Ever since you were alive and you have come to the spiritual world and you've become self-conscious, that's what's important, really. The rest is just blah, blah, blah. So all of these books you've been reading, all the work you were doing, all these years we were talking about the age of Aquarius and the transition and, and how we can transcend and reach the fifth dimensional consciousness and shift. All of those books and stories and videos that we've been watching and reading and seminars and uh, people we followed and listened to, it's happening right now. This is, this is the moment of it. It's happening in this way right now. Of course, our imagination of a utopian life is that is a different story. It's something the mind creates. Of it's a projection the way we want we imagine it to be. Of course, naturally, we all have that fantasy. But the reality of what is going on is this. This is what's happening right now. It's a global transformation, but it's an inner transformation. Maybe on the other side, other world, nothing happens or whatever. I'm sure eventually things will change as they are. But the focus should be 
on the inner world and using this opportunity. So you have sort of a choice, if there is a choice, is which direction do you want to go? Do you want to buy into the collective unconsciousness and contract the mental virus of the fear, worry, anxiety, uncertainty that what's going to happen to me? Or you want to use this opportunity and fuel your inner fire and use it to be whole, to be complete, to be holy and use it for healing. What do you want to do? Which direction do you want to go? Yeah, the herd, the collective is going in that direction. I was never a kind of a person would follow the collective anyway. I was always a rebel. That was my nature. It was like when everybody started doing something, I didn't want to do it. I didn't even know why. I just didn't like to do it. Maybe I did it for a short period of time. I didn't want to do it anymore. And yeah, I mean, on, on our kind, us who are doing this work, there is a lot of pressure too on us because you all have family, friends, and your society, your community, that they put a lot of pressure on you because they're afraid and they're going down this spiral of the collective unconscious of going into this fear, anxiety place. And they, and you're, you know, you're the black sheep in the family. You're the one who popped out and then they're putting a lot of pressure on you. And that's why it's, for us, it's really vital to meet, to come together where we have support because we speak, we speak each other's language and we understand because all of us come from this background of that we were very different in a way from our childhood or maybe it happened later on, but basically it's the same story where we are sharing with each other of being different in some ways. I'm not saying better or worse, but you somehow popped, you know, you were this mushroom that wasn't supposed to pop, but you popped. So, and now we're under, a lot of us are under a lot of pressure from our family, friends, because they're all going down to spiraling down into this dark place. And that's not your way. So thank God we have this way to c connect with each other and to support each other that, no, sweetheart, you're doing a good job. Stay here. Stay in this place. Don't, don't give in. Don't give in to the collective unconsciousness, to fear and anxiety and uncertainties of what's going to happen. Stay, stay in your present. Stay here. That's our job. This is our moment. While we're working on ourselves and we're evolving, we're going to use the current situation to our advantage. You turn the poison to medicine. And of course, the mind will come and say, oh my God, I'm so bored. Which is true, you know, I can't get together with my friends. I can't go to this gathering. I can't go to the dance party. I can't travel. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't go to a restaurant and sit down and eat with my friends. You, you know, 
yeah, it is a weird, weird time that you can't even do the very basic stuff.